Hello guys and welcome to my Unreal Engine tutorial on how to make custom clothing for a character model. The clothing that we'll be making in this tutorial will be able to follow the bones and animation that our character uses and we will learn how to set up basic cloth physics. The clothing will also work for morph target data. This means that when our character has a certain body morph type, the clothing will also apply for that morph value to ensure that the clothing fits on any body type. So first things first, we're going to import our character into Blender to start modeling some clothing. If you've been following the previous tutorial, you already have your female character FBX file from Daz. So if you don't have it, you can either check in your FBX joint renamer folder. It's the female character FBX file. Or if you just don't have it in general, you can go back to Daz Studio, recreate the figure real quick, and then you can just go to File, Export, Female Character, and then make sure that you have the export morph rules and you have all of these morphs right here. I will be exporting the CVS rules so that you guys can just import this and have this all set up. That way you don't have to go in and set each one. To have all these morphs, again, you have to have purchased the morph target packs from the Daz store I've talked about in my other tutorial. So just keep that in mind. All right, once you have the FBX file, what you want to do is go ahead and import that into Blender. So we're going to open up Blender right here. I am running an older version of Blender. I haven't played around with Blender 2.8 yet to be comfortable with it. Okay, so we can go ahead and delete everything in the scene. Click File, Import, .fbx. Go ahead and browse to your female character FBX file. Okay, and before you click import, you want to pay attention to these two settings right here. First, you want to click in the armatures, automatic bone orientation, and then you want to uncheck the use pre slash post rotation. Okay, so just click import. All right, and now we can scroll in here. First things I'm going to do is just hide these bones real quick. So you can go to this little figure here and then click on that layer and that will just hide the bones. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and model some clothing. So we'll just click add mesh plane, rotate that at 90 degrees, scale this down, go ahead and just bring this forward just like that. Go ahead and scale it more. We're just going to create a simple shirt okay so that looks good click edit then control r and then use the scroll button to add these subdivisions and then control r scroll again add the subdivisions like that okay so go back to object mode go to the modifiers this little wrench right here click add modifier shrink wrap Take this little sample tool and click on the character. Okay, so we're going to set the offset to 0 0.21. That looks fine right there. Uh, let's increase it just in case. Okay, so go into edit mode again. Let's take these sides right here, these sides right here. Press E to extrude. Press S and then X, like that. Actually, we'll scale that down a little bit. S and then X. Then press E to extrude. S and then X, again. Okay, and then we'll just select from here, this side right there. You're just using the B key to select. B and then drag. Press the E key to extrude down to the side like this. E again, extrude like that. We're just going to keep extruding E and then moving it forward. Add modifier, multi resolution, click subdivide once. That looks pretty good right there. This is just good for our tutorial. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and actually extrude. We're going to go ahead and apply these modifiers, so just click apply. Actually, click apply the shrink wrap first and then apply the subdivision second. And go into edit mode, sh uh, shift 
and then hold down Alt and Shift and right click. Then click E to extrude. And then we're just going to go down like this. Extrude again. Extrude again. Just like that. Basically, we're just going to make a simple piece of cloth that we can simulate physics. Uh, maybe just a bit of longer. Okay, just like that. One more. And then one more. Just like that. Okay. You can see like that. Looks good. So now all we got to do is export this mesh right here. Click the smooth. Make sure it's all smooth. Um, we have to export this back into DAZ so that we can rig it to our rig and then we can import it into Unreal Engine. So first we have to export this as an OBJ because DAZ for some reason only likes to have .obj files. So file, export, .obj. Okay, selection only. Put on the desktop. Just rename it to shirt. And then we want to file save this because later we're going to be opening up Blender again. Uh, we just file save as shirt.blend and then go ahead and close that. Okay, so we'll open up DAZ. All right, and either you can open up your character that you saved if you have the project file. Or you can just open up the figures, female, and spawn another female. Doesn't really matter, actually. So now we go to File, Import, the shirt file. Click Open. Then right here, you have to make sure that the scale is set to 10,000. If you don't have the scale to 10,000, then it will be really small. So let's click Accept. Then we can see it's right here. Okay, so now what we have to do is we have to use transfer utility. Basically what this will do is it will transfer all of the weights from our character to our clothing. Then we click edit, object, transfer utility. Then we select item, the source will be the female, Genesis 8 female. The scene item will be the shirt and click accept. Then we can go to file export choose a desktop you can name this shirt exported okay and then for the settings you want to merge clothing into figure skeleton you can click that it doesn't really matter collect textures of folder uncheck that we don't need the texture we want the morphs make sure that you have the morphs here and then for the morph targets make sure you have all these morph targets again I will export the CVS rules so you can import it and of course you have to have uh, purchase morph target packs. Okay, so click accept. All right, just give it a sec. Go ahead and minimize that. Open up Blender. Okay, delete this. Go to file, import, .fbx. Go to our desktop. Then choose the shirt exported .fbx. Uncheck the pre use pre-post rotation and then check automatic bone orientation. Import that FBX. We just want to select the female. Go ahead and select the female character and the shirt. Click join. Now they're one mesh. So go into edit mode. Select the character. Click control L to select all of the character. Then just make sure we get all the eyes and everything. Then just click delete vertices. So now that we have just the clothing and the bones, make sure you select everything. File, export.fbx, onto the desktop. We can name this to something like shirt final. Selected objects in the main tab, geometry. Uncheck apply modifiers, uncheck add leaf bones, and uncheck baked animation. Okay, so just click export. Go ahead and minimize Blender. Then what we have to do is open up the FBX joint renamer. Okay, so just drag the shirt final right into here. Make sure you open up the rig bat file with your text document. Rename it this thing female character to shirt 
final file save, and then you can go ahead and run the rig. Okay, this will rename all the bones in our FBX file. And we can go ahead and drag the output onto our desktop and rename that back to shirt. Okay, so once that's done, we can go ahead and open up Unreal Engine, go to our tutorial video folder, and then just go ahead and drag and drop this right here. Okay, so you want to import mesh, make sure the skeleton is our female character skeleton. Don't need textures or anything like that, and Okay, so you'll see the shirt final and the shirt physics asset. So let's just go ahead and make a material real quick. So, new material, shirt, material. And just give this a vector parameter. Hook that up. Give it maybe like a blue color or something. Okay, save that. Okay, open up your shirt final. You can go ahead and pull this full screen. Okay, so first thing you'll notice here are all the morphs imported, which is good, which means that when we move the morph slider, you can see the morph data will update for the clothes. So this is good. This means that when we uh, apply this clothes and put it on our character, when the character has a certain body type, the morphs will update to that body type. So for example, the pair figure, you can see the morph target update. So let's go ahead and apply the material shirt. The last thing we're going to do here is just set up the cloth physics for this part. Make sure you're in the selection, right click, create clothing data from section. For the physics asset, I believe you want to use, you could probably use the shirt physics asset, that's probably fine. You can also use the skeletal mesh, the character, female character skeleton, whatever works. Then we can go over here to the clothing, click on that, make sure that's selected, and then go activate cloth paint. And right here you scroll down you can see your paint value so i have the brush radius set to two paint value i'm going to change this to like a thousand basically the more positive it's going to mean it's going to simulate the cloth the pink means that it's not going to simulate the cloth you can change the radius to like something like five okay then what we want to do is just paint let's turn our camera speed down I want to paint all of this right here just like that okay that looks good Click deactivate, right click, apply clothing data, shirt final clothing. Okay, as you can see, it's kind of glitching out. This is because of the physics asset. We're gonna try to switch this to our female character physics asset. And it looks a little bit better. It looks decent. We'll see how it plays. Um, basically, it's using the physics asset to tell what it's supposed to collide on. So we can always update the physics asset later. Let's go ahead and apply this to our character. Open up your third person character, click on your mesh, and click add component skeletal mesh. Okay, rename that to shirt. And then either you can do it in the construction script right here. Basically what you wanna do is get the shirt and get the mesh. What you want to do is set skeletal mesh shirt to our shirt final. Then what you want to do is get to the mesh set master post component. Shirt is the target. And just like that. Okay, so compile, save that. You go in the viewport and you can see the cloth right here. Okay, so as you can see, physics data is kind of messed up. So we'll just go ahead and play it and see what it looks like. All right, so what we can see here is you can see the clothing data is updating for the animation. So when the character breathes, you can see the animation updating. When we walk, however, you can see that the morph targets aren't synced. That's because our character has all those keyframes for the rest animation. Basically, what we have to do for the clothing is we have to sync that to those morph target values. For the clothing physics, to update that, we just go into the skeletal mesh. Shirt final is using this female character physics asset. Okay, so it looks like this is the spear that's affecting the clothing, so we just want to pull this back a little bit like that. Hopefully that will help. 
I'll have to update you guys on a solution for this. It could just be the physics asset here, just having some trouble with the collision. But I'm gonna look into this and I'll update you guys on the answer. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this tutorial up. Hopefully you learned something about how to make your own custom clothes. Anyways guys, if you have any questions, make sure you leave it down in the comments below. And if you like this video, please consider subscribing and sharing it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.